Welcome to the Bluecoat Proxy SG First Steps video tutorial. This tutorial describes how to configure Integrated Windows Authentication, or IWA, direct authentication on the Proxy SG appliance. To configure IWA direct authentication, you must complete the following tasks. Join the Proxy SG appliance to the Windows domain. If you plan to use Kerberos authentication, you must make sure that authentication requests are directed to the DNS name of the appliance's Active Directory machine account name. For more details, refer to the Proxy SG First Steps web guide. Configure the Proxy SG for IWA. Verify that the appliance can successfully authenticate an Active Directory user using the IWA realm you create. Create a DNS entry for the Proxy SG authentication URL. Configure the client browsers for single sign-on and create the policy rules that will enforce authentication and optionally authorization. To integrate the Proxy SG into your Windows domain, you must complete the following tasks. Synchronize the Proxy SG and domain controller clocks and join the Proxy SG to the Windows domain. Proxy SG cannot join a Windows domain unless its internal clock is in sync with the domain controller. To ensure that the Proxy SG clocks are synchronized with the domain controller clock, use either of the following techniques. Specify the same NTP servers for the Proxy SG and the domain controller, or configure the Proxy SG to use the domain controller as the NTP source server. The Proxy SG NTP configuration options are located in the Configuration, General, Clock section under the Clock and NTP tabs. After you have synchronized the Proxy SG's internal clock with the domain controller, you can join the appliance to the Windows domain as follows. Select Configuration, Authentication, Windows Domain. Click Add New Domain. Enter a domain name alias and then click OK. Click Apply and then OK. Now select the domain name you created and click Join. In the DNS Domain Name field, enter the DNS name for the Windows Active Directory domain. Enter the primary domain access username and password. This account must have administrator privileges. Click OK and then OK again. The IWA realm contains the configuration settings that the Proxy SG needs to be able to perform IWA authentication, including how to connect to the Active Directory, which authentication protocols to support, how long to wait before timing out, and where to redirect transparent requests, if applicable. You can create the IWA Direct realm as follows. First, select Configuration, Authentication, IWA, IWA Realms. Click New. Enter a realm name. In the Active Directory Connection field, select Direct. In the Select Domain field, verify that the domain name is the one you previously entered. Click OK, then Apply, and OK. Now you need to specify the type of credentials to accept from the user agent. By default, all credential types are allowed. The Proxy SG will try to use Kerberos, which is the default authentication type for Windows clients, but will automatically downgrade to a different challenge type depending on the user agent's capabilities. For more information on credential types, refer to the Proxy SG First Steps web guide. To specify the credential type, select the IWA Servers tab and then verify the realm name and domain from the drop down lists. In the Client Authentication Modes section, select the desired credentials. For Transparent Proxy Only, in the Virtual URL field under the IWA General tab, enter the URL to which to redirect client requests that require authentication. For more details, refer to the Proxy SG First Steps web guide. Finally, you can test the configuration. Under the IWA Servers tab, click Test Configuration. When prompted, enter the username and password of the user in the Windows domain and then click OK. If the test succeeds, 
The message also displays a list of groups to which the user belongs. For IWA authentication to be successful, your clients must be able to resolve the fully qualified domain name of the ProxySG authentication URL to the IP address of the ProxySG appliance. To do this, create a DNS A record that associates the ProxySG authentication domain with the IP address of the ProxySG. The fully qualified domain name that you use depends on whether you are using an explicit or transparent deployment. For explicit deployments, set the host name in the DNS A record to match the ProxySG domain name specified in the browser's explicit proxy configuration. For transparent deployments, set the host name in the DNS A record to match the virtual URL in the IWA configuration. Configure the client systems to use the DNS server where you created the A records for the proxy SG. From a client system, ping the host name specified in the A record to ensure that it resolves to the IP address of the proxy SG. One of the main benefits of IWA is that it can provide a single sign-on experience for users because it uses the workstation login to authenticate users. When configured properly, the browser will provide the credentials to the proxy SG transparently when challenged for NTLM or Kerberos credentials. The user will always be prompted for basic authentication credentials. IWA only works with Windows domain credentials. If users log into the workstation with local credentials instead of domain credentials, they will always be prompted whenever the proxy SG returns an authentication challenge. Both Internet Explorer and Firefox can be configured to provide authentication credentials to the proxy SG transparently. By default, Internet Explorer automatically provides authentication credentials to any site in the local intranet zone. If the URL for your proxy SG in explicit deployments or virtual URL for transparent deployments contains a single host name, you will not have to configure Internet Explorer for IWA. If your proxy SG URL for virtual or explicit does not fall within the Internet zone, you will need to configure the Internet Explorer to trust the URL. Keep in mind, however, that Kerberos deployments will require you to add the full URL to the local intranet zone. Firefox does not provide support for IWA by default and will therefore always need to be configured if you want to provide a single sign-on experience for your users. For explicit proxy deployments, you must also make sure the browser is configured to send requests to the proxy SG. To configure Internet Explorer for single sign-on, select Tools, Internet Options. Select the Security tab. Select the local Internet zone and click Sites, Advanced. Enter the fully qualified domain name of the proxy SG appliance for explicit deployments or the virtual URL for transparent deployments and then click Add, Close, and OK. Select the Advanced tab and make sure the Security Enable Integrated Windows Authentication option is selected. And click OK. For details on configuring Firefox, refer to the Proxy SG First Steps web guide. Now we're ready to create the policy that enables authentication on the appliance. You can create a basic authentication policy that simply requires all requests to be authenticated and allows or denies access upon successful authentication. Or you can define more complex policies with rules that apply to a specific source address, subnet, port, user agent, or request header. Or you can define different rules for different destinations. You can also create policies that allow access to guest users. Finally, you can create authorization policies that restrict access by user or group membership. The following example shows how to create a policy using the Visual Policy Manager, or VPM. To create an IWA authentication policy, first launch the VPM by going to Configuration, Policy, Visual Policy Manager, Launch. Select Policy, Add Web Authentication Layer. 
Enter a layer name or accept the default name and click OK. Right click in the action column and select Set. Click New and then select Authenticate. Specify a name for the authentication object if you like. Select the IWA realm from the drop down list. Select the authentication mode from the mode drop down list. Auto lets the Proxy SG automatically choose an authentication mode. For more details, refer to the Proxy SG First Steps web guide. Click OK and then OK again. Finally, click Install Policy. To test the policy, browse to a few websites and then go to Statistics, Authentication, User Logins and click Display by User. A list of all users logged in through your Proxy SG displays. Explicit deployments can authenticate HTTPS traffic without any additional configuration provided that you have a valid SSL license installed. The following steps are required if you want to authenticate HTTPS traffic in a transparent deployment. Verify that you have an SSL license. Create an HTTPS reverse proxy service to listen for authentication requests. Create an IWA realm for authenticating your HTTPS traffic. Create the policy rule to enable the appliance to intercept HTTPS traffic. Create the policy rule that enables the Proxy SG to authenticate client HTTPS requests and install the policy. For more details, refer to the Proxy SG First Steps web guide. Visit the Blue Coat Proxy SG First Steps web guide available at Blue Touch Online to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using a Proxy SG appliance to secure your network. For comments or suggestions about this video tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.